hello everyone welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial we will discuss another important topic in dynamics 365 how to connect dynamics 365 using console applications right we have many scenarios that requires connection from console application to dynamics 365 server right so in this tutorial we will see start to end every code operation like create retrieve update and delete and retrieve multiple we will do every function in this tutorial so let us see so using o authorization we will connect to dynamic 365 there are many ways that we can connect with dynamic 365 but uh, in this tutorial i will show you how o auth can be used to perform crude operation right now the first step is you have to go to your dynamics 365 office application then here you have to go to admin because you have to register your application in azure active directory so that the client id will be generated and that will be used in our console application so once you open the microsoft dynamics 365 microsoft 365 admin center then you have to go to so all then here you will find azure active directory and as soon as the active directory azure active directory opens you have to go to azure active directory option here you will find there is an option called app registration and click on new registration because i want to register an application so that i can communicate now give a name here let's say console console app d365 demo and here you have to choose the accounts in the organization directory and here you have to choose either web and uh, you have to give a web address let's say it's not required but you have to give some uh, address like local host and once you have given click on register as soon as you register you will find this option called as manifest click on the manifest and in the manifest you have to enable the access allow public client so make it true and save it the next portion is you have to go to api permissions and in the api permission you have to add permission here you will find dynamic crm and click on the user impersonation click add permission once you click add permission you have to grant the consent for the uh, organization so click on the grant admin consent for subchip click yes now the app registration is successful in uh, microsoft azure the next thing is if you go to overview you will see there is a application id available copy this application id because it is required for us and store in a uh, notepad okay i will close it and i will go to uh, console application and i will show you uh, sorry okay so this is my console application now here the first thing i am doing is i have created a console application and i have the program uh, .cs is automatically created for me and uh, once the program cs is automatically created i am just uh, declaring a class file here whose name is oauth connect here i am giving i have given two methods the first method is to connect dynamics 365 using o authorization uh, if you minutely uh, see this method you can see i have written a console write line uh, message to display on the screen and second is the auth type string where the uh, where the auth type auth type is oauth and here i am giving the username of my environment here i am giving the password uh, for my environment that i always do login and this is the url right uh, this url is uh, copied from my uh, organization url up to this dot com now copy this and use in your project and the app id is very important because this app id has been generated in uh, in azure so paste here okay and you have to use the redirect url that you have given while registering the application and login prompt uh, login prompt string you can use auto or you can use always if you want users to give uh, the credentials every time they run the uh, console application 
then I am building a final connection string uh, by adding auth type, username, password, URL, app ID, redirect, TRI, and login prompt. And I am replacing all the values to this string using string interpolation. And I am creating a CRM service client object and passing the connection string and returning the CRM service client object. Now this method will return the CRM service client by which I can connect uh, to Dynamics 365 for performing any crude operation, right? Now, if I will go to uh, go back to the program, you can see this. Uh, I have created the object of the class auth connect, and uh, uh, I have taken CRM service client object and calling the uh, method connect with OAuth, which is a method written here, and uh, it will return the CRM uh, CRM service client. Now we have to check that whether the SBC object uh, is ready property is true or not. If it is not true, then the connection is not success. That's why we have used SBC dot is ready in condition. If it is true only, then the connection is success. Now I want to perform the code operation. Now we will go to this uh, code to see uh, what we have written. Now first I am creating a contact record where I am passing the last name and first name and job title and I am using this SBC object, CRM service client object I am calling the create method and passing the CRM service, uh, uh, passing the entity object inside the create uh, method which will create the record in Dynamics 365. So let us see, let me give a breakpoint here and uh, I will check how it works. So here I will also give the breakpoint and run it first. Okay, once I will run it, it will try to connect to Dynamics 365 using OAuth and it is uh, specifying connecting to Dynamics 365 server because I have written in console.write line. Now it is trying to connect. I am expecting the SBC object which is the CRM service client object will return uh, successfully and the is ready property will uh, display as true okay if you will mouse over here you will find the value is true right so as it is true then i can perform my operation right i can click f5 so that it will go to my create method that i have created in oauth connect so i'm expecting it will create the record and it will come to the breakpoint so that I can check in Dynamics 365 if that record has been created or not. So let us wait for some seconds so that uh, the record will be created. It's trying to create the record. Once the debugger hit to this line of code, then I will go to Dynamics 365 to check if the specified. So once the uh, record has been created, the breakpoint will come to the uh, line of code and now I can go to Dynamics 365 to check if the record is created. I am in customer section and just refresh it. And here I am expecting this record. See, the subchip uh, sub learn uh, is the first name and last name. You can see here the first name is uh, subchip and last name is uh, learn and job title is consultant. If you open this, I'm expecting the job title is also there. So the job title is also there. Now this record is created. So we can see how we can create uh, records, uh, create records using a console application using OAuth authorization. Now I want to retrieve a specific uh, GUID, right? Now to retrieve a uh, record, we have to use SBC, which is a CRM service client object and retrieve method. You have to pass the entity here and you have to pass the GUID here. And the next parameter is column set. What columns you want to read? Okay. Now let me give a breakpoint here and press F5. Once you press F5, if you go to here, it will display the customer's last name that just retrieved using the retrieve method. So Using this retrieve method, we can uh, retrieve any any uh, entity information uh, from Dynamics 365. And 
Now next using query expression I want to use retrieve multiple instead of retrieve for example you do not have a primary key of GYD of a specific record but you want to read a set of records with some condition uh, satisfied like I want to read all uh, contacts whose uh, uh, first name is something uh, like that or if you want to uh, retrieve all uh, records without any filter then you can use query expression and uh, we have to use the retrieve multiple method so I have given a, a query expression and passed contact uh, entity and in column set I have passed uh, first name and last name then in an entity collection object I am taking retrieve multiple method and uh, I am uh, writing all the first names of the contact entity in console application right so once it is retrieved it will uh, it will run through a loop and uh, print the first name so let us see how it works press f5 so once i will press this it will retrieve all first names of the contact and display in my black screen of the command prompt because console application is nothing but a exe file that runs in background and uh, uh, the output will be displayed in a black screen so it is trying to uh, display all the first name of the contact that has been retrieved from Dynamics 365 and display here so now you can see all the uh, contact first name is uh, last name is printed here in the black screen and uh, next we will call a update method so I want to update a record uh, using update method so I have written the entity object then pass the ID as a record ID so uh, if you have a record ID with you then you can call update method and I'm, uh, I'm updating the attribute uh, last name for this record so let us see how it is updating now if I'll go here in, in the uh, Dynamics 365 you can see uh, this has been updated as fats because the last name was learned now it is changed as fats now I want to delete the contact record right so I can use sbc.delete to delete that okay so let us click f5 so that the subchief fact uh, record will be deleted so this record is available here but if I will refresh that record will be deleted that is deleted okay now I want to show you the execute method also okay for example using a using execute method I want to create a, a account record so the name will be soft so let's see how it works so uh, click F5 now this execute line code will create an account for me go to account so this has been created now if I will execute this execute multiple there is also a uh, function called is execute multiple so that you can call this uh, call this execute multiple method to uh, process a batch request or multiple requests on one go then you can also do this so you have to create a request object first then you have to add uh, entity objects to the request object then you have to add the request collection to this request object then using this execute method we can pass your request data so let me click f5 right now it will create multiple records with this account names soft1 and soft2 okay so if you go here you can see refresh it right soft1 and soft2 soft2 so i have i have run i have already run uh, two three times that's why it is creating duplicates but this is how we can create uh, uh, we can use execute multiple request and execute request and crude operation using console application so now we can think of the complexity whatever logic it is required we can use in console application because we have the SPC object with us and we can do anything using the console application okay. 
so thank you for your time i will come with another video uh, next time and if you are uh, new to my channel please subscribe the channel and you click the bell icon so that uh, you will get notified whenever i will upload new videos thank you